Ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. All right, so here's Aljamain Sterling. Hasn't necessarily been a fast starter in the UFC. There's no denying the toughness, the creativeness, his scrambling ability. You know about the wrestling acumen, but he uses his length very well. This is a hard guy to hit, and it looks like he'll be hard to hit here out of the shoot tonight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, man, that's a big moment early on. Most people expected he would be able to get the takedowns at will. The boxer stays upright, at least for now. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. I mean, now you're going to see his facial expression change a little bit. He's going to start to wonder, what am I going to do now if I'm forced to stand with this guy that possesses power like he does in his hands? Massive moment for this boxer. Oh, nice kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Slips the punch. All right, early round one action here, and the wrestler immediately is able to get the clinch. Seems to be a means to an end, though. He's going to try to take this fight back. Absolutely, John, and he wants to wear on the arms. He understands how powerful his boxer is. So by grabbing him, squeezing him, making him squeeze, it starts to build the lactic acid. The arms start to blow up, and you start to get a little fatigue. That's what this wrestler's trying to do to slow this boxing guy down. Slips the punch. Front kick to the body by Calvin Cater. Continuing to invest in the body, nice kick. He's got that jab working, nicely done. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Oh, nice takedown defense. And now some distance as they pull apart. Punches and punches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees go. Sterling's eye now closing up. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Sterling went 87 and 27 as a collegiate wrestler. Six and one as an MMA amateur. Won belts at 35 and 45. Leg kick lands. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, a nice straight there by Cater. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, and he caught the kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there. And no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man. It's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep going. The next one, a beautiful jab. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Got him hurting here. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, just open it up on him now. Now a knee. Cater's lower jaw just not 
look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Slow that heart rate down. All right, here we go. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Sterling's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Cater's back in half goal. Making all these shots count. Sterling getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not gonna bail you out. Great shot from the top position. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. And that didn't happen very often. Oh, he's got his back. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to taking on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh! Strikes continue to land. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhooks, this is a great position for a top fighter. Sterling's eye is this. All right, quick pause in the action here. Hopefully this won't be the end of the fight, but some serious swelling around that eye, and I'm not sure the extent to which his vision has been compromised. I don't know how much he can see right now. He seems to be trying to find the opponent but his spirit isn't broken. Looks as though the doctor is going to allow the fight to continue for the athlete. May want to raise the guard a little bit. He's got to raise the guard. He's got to take some chances because he's very limited in what he can do right now with that much slow. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that. Huge elbow there. in half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Great ground and pound by this man. Calvin Cater gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in... Oh, man. All right, opens the guard. Now stacked guard. And 
think he will let his opponent stand up here. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. All right, so perhaps... Oh! Another knockdown! Oh! This one could be over soon. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many oh, oh. Round three next. All right, incredible drama here in this fight. I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in it, given all that swelling around his eye. We'll see what the cut man can do to stop the swelling here over these 60 seconds. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready to fight? Ready. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. Nice hook there by Stroh. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Just misses with the jab there. Sterling strike attempt there is blocked. Nice punch to the head. Oh, my goodness. Back to the feet. He went high on that one. Well, when you absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call in the ringside position? Well, right now. Yeah. I feel like a bit, a little bit ago. You could have called in the ringside position, and no one would have kicked. Oh! oh Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 15 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by...